What do you do when your parents don't support your dream? I'm gonna answer that question in today's episode of Lunch and Earn. So I recently got a question from one of my YouTube viewers, love you guys, awkwardly derpy, who wrote in to say, I asked my parents for a microphone for YouTube and they said, why are you singing on YouTube? That day I just gave up. So this is a really common issue, uh, unfortunately, and I really feel for you, uh, it's really tough to continue on on your dream when you have the people around you who are the ones who are supposed to believe in you, not believing in your dreams, not encouraging you to be the best you can be. And the important thing to remember is you have to figure out if this is your life that you're gonna live or you're gonna live somebody else's version of your life. And yes, it's your parents and that's tough uh, and it's harder to kind of leave them behind and I don't necessarily think you have to, but you have to understand that you at some point have to decide when you're gonna take charge of your own life and live your dreams instead of letting other people dictate what you can and can't do. So I have three pieces of advice that I think will help. Number one is change the people that you hang out with. You're not gonna change your parents, you're born with them and you're stuck with them for the short term at least and I'm sure they have a lot of uh, love for you and what they're saying is out of love. But what you should do now is augment them with people who do support your dreams. I would start hanging out with people who also want to be big on YouTube and want to sing and love that. And I would join a band and be around people who bring you up, who make you feel like you can do it, who teach you new things and believe in you. And if your friends don't, then stop hanging out with them as much. And so now you need to create a new social circle with people who support and believe in your ideas. Number two is study the success of great singers. Whatever it is that you want to do, whatever big dream, big goal you have, I would look at who has already accomplished what they've done and how can you model their success. And so I would look at singers that you look up to and respect, whoever it is, it doesn't matter. Look at their early stories, look at their early failures, look at their early troubles and the people who didn't believe in them and use their stories as one motivation to think that they could get through it so I can too and two, get ideas on what you can do, right? So you'll notice that maybe this person entered a talent competition. Maybe this person went on a radio show as a call-in. Maybe this person went out and tried to get an agent. Whatever those strategies that they use to become successful, you can leverage as well to apply it to your craft, to your story, to your success, to help you reach that same path. So study the success of people that you look up to to get those ideas as well as the motivation to keep going. Number three is create a routine that supports you. If you really want this badly and you have an environment around you that sucks, you need to create a morning routine that gets you started and set for the day. So whatever inspires you, whatever motivates you, whatever pushes you to challenge yourself and stretch your comfort zone, start that in the day so you're set up for success right from when you wake up. So if that's reading the story of a famous musician or watching a video of their early struggles and their success, whatever that is that gets you excited and ready to go take action, it was listening to music that you love from your favorite artists and feel like, I wanna be like that guy or that girl, set up a morning routine that you follow every single day so that you can get on your horse, charge in the battle, and continue to believe in yourself. So change the people you hang out with, study the success of famous people who've already done what you wanna do, and create a morning routine that helps you believe in yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for that great question. My question for you guys is, I'd love to know if there's somebody in your life who didn't believe in you, who put you down, who was kind of a little man in your life. Share that story below because I think it could help Awkwardly Derpy uh, and other people just like him or her to inspire to be something better. So leave your story in the comments below. Thank you for watching, continue to believe, and I'll see you soon.